Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today we're solving a puzzled pint set. I am here with my brother Nick again. Hi, Nick. Hi, how are you? We're going to be looking at the April 2021 puzzled pint set, which is themed around Greek, Greek mythology. In case any of you haven't heard of Puzzled Pint before, they release a new mini puzzle hunt every month. Because so many Puzzled Pint events have been being hosted um, remotely or, or being done online recently, a lot of the sets have been converted into um, Google Sheets. This is a copy of the Google Sheet that they have on the Puzzled Pint website for um, this month's set of puzzles. I click the start button, see how long it takes us to get through the main set. That's the four feeder puzzles as well as the meta puzzle. All right, three, two, one, starting the timer. Eris, the god of love, has shown up at a speed dating session. Each person at the speed dating session is assigned a number. Eros used his arrows to make each person fall in love with someone on the other side. Eros is mischievous. He caused everyone to fall in love with one person, everyone to be loved by one person, but no one's love to be reciprocated. Aww. Aww. Eros has many arrows, but only five different arrowheads. Each arrowhead does something different. Additionally, Eros may shoot up the three arrows from each person to get the job done, even repeating a type if required. Can you figure out who fell in love with whom? Okay, so th the arrowheads are represented by these shapes, it looks like. Mm -hmm. There's the X, circle, triangle, heart, and square. The effects, which I'm guessing we need to assign to the shape, we can add the number of letters in the person's name, divide by three, multiply by two, subtract two, or subtract five. If I'm understanding correctly, the shapes next to the people's names are the arrows that they're struck by, well, no, it says from. It says he can fire up to three arrows from each person. So these arrows are the ones that, like, like Blake is firing the triangle and the X. Okay. To somebody on the right. What, where are the numbers? Are we taking the numbers by their names? Do we apply the triangle and X's effects to that person's number on the right to get one so that that person falls in love with Blake? So we okay. should probably start with, like, Jesse and Alex. And so they need to fire at somebody on the left to get their number. I don't I, I don't think I'm understanding it, correct? Because basically I'm looking at Jesse and Alex. They both have the circle. Uh-huh. My interpretation was they both fire the circle at somebody on the left. And then we do one of the five effects. And we should get for Jesse, whoever Jesse fires at, we should get the number seven. And then whoever Alex fires at, we should get the number ten. What if the symbol is what they receive? So Jesse and Alex get hit by the circle? Yes. That's possible. We could subtract five from both or take the number of letters in their name. So if Emerson gets hit twice, I don't think we would be adding the number of letters in his name twice. We can't divide it by three, multiply by two, or subtract five twice. So the heart has to be minus two, right? And that means that Emerson likes Carrie. So does anybody else have a heart? Jamie has a heart, but we do square first. Well, uh, let's go to the circle now. Let's go to Jesse and Alex. We we can't do the number of letters in the name, right? Because if Alex is four, that mm. would mean he would also like Carrie, and each person can only be liked once. You're right. So Alex likes Parker. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure circle or square is going to be divide by three. So nine like, by three. Yeah, which gives us three, and then we subtract two to get one. Yep. So, and then Leslie, we have square, which is divided by three, so we're at two. We're going to do an X, and then we're subtracting five to get three. We, uh, X is add the number of letters in the person's name. All right, so that's half the people, and hopefully the rest come easily. So Blake, we're going to multiply by two to get two, and then... Uh, add the number of letters, which is five, to get seven? Yep. Cool. Cool. So now what? Isn't oh. it obvious? I think it is, actually. Dragon Engineer got it. It's a more. It's these um, letters that have not been used or crossed over. So we have A, M, O, Q. Why are you using arrows? Doesn't that make it more I was going to change the color of them. 
Um, there it is. A more. Yay! A more is correct. All right, so that took us 15 minutes. Of all the medals, King Midas loves gold the most. When he was granted a wish by the gods, his first thought was to wish for everything he touched to turn to gold. King Midas also enjoys periodically walking on a path through his garden. What is something else that King Midas loves? Okay, so we have metals, gold, first, and periodically are all important. Search for food, usually mushrooms. Forage. Violent anger is rage, right? The one next to rage is cause and effect. On Santa's bad list is naughty. Uh, Sklypes notices that there's a lot of AUs in the answers. That makes sense. There's also, I see some AGs. Uh, AGs <laughs> silver, right? Okay, shapes of eight vertices are octagons. So I think I'm going to, as we go, I'm going to highlight the ones that have gold in it in yellow. Showing keen interest as a beaver is eager. All the world's a stage. Men's or women's global soccer tournament is World Cup. Dragon Engineer got the prince and the papa. Jenny, uh, Jenny says overhaul. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds right for renovating the health system and fixing up an engine. Object used when drinking chai or oolong is a tea bag? Oh, yeah. Dragon Engineer says it's teacup, and I like that because CU is uh, Oh, rocks. copper. Measure of radioactive decay is half-life. What's the metal in that one? Oh, FE is iron. Mm -hmm. Stream of daily stories as seen on Facebook is a timeline. I think. Gleip says something a thief might crack is safe. Uh, he also says the stream of daily stories is news feed. That's good. Is this spelling anything, by the way? Mm-mm. Oh, the, the other ones are. What? The ones that aren't yellow. It spells flowers. Jenny loves homestruck, says it's a fend. Flowers with thorns. So I think we're looking for roses. Yep. Yay, it's correct. 25 minutes in. And so we're ready to jump over to, what, Pandora? At Pandora's wedding, the gods gave her a box for safekeeping. They warned her to never open it but eventually she was overcome by curiosity. When she opened the box up to take a peek, all sorts of terrible things flew out of the box. Pandora slammed the lid back shut, but the only thing that she managed to keep was hope bolded. Everything else, and a little more, also bolded, had escaped. Use the objects inside and outside the box, along with the extra things to figure out what Pandora unleashed on the world. And the single in system for send a message with flags is semaphore. Sklypes says the fourth one is dreams. These usually occur during REM sleep, yes. Person in a grocery store is a shopper. A luggage carrying hotel worker is a... The... Uh... Oh, man. Don't you hate that. <laughs> <laughs> when like you I'm know not. that you know this word. Bellhop? Yeah. I'm gonna go with Bellhop. Dragon Engineer confirms, thank you. <laughs> Institution for children without parents. Orphanage. Uh, Orf yeah, you got that. Orf yeah, you got that. Orphanage. <laughs> Orphanage. Jenny points oh. out that E, H, O, and P appear frequently. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. they all, do they all have hope in them? Cause they, yes, they do. The I'm gonna start said, with hope. So on the right, you're taking the answers that were on the left and removing the letters from hope. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, so it looks like these words on the right um, are these are anagrams of these second columns, except this, there's an extra letter. Yep. So this one is asylum, but with the M. Mm -hmm. This is spar without the A. This is Reagan without the E. And so that Maladies. spells maladies in there. And that's correct. All right, so the, we are 34 minutes in. It's actually looking kind of reasonable that we're going to finish this within the hour. The tale of the Minotaur is well known in Greco-Roman mythology. Every year, Agnes, the king of Athens, must send human sacrifices to King Minos of Crete to feed the monstrous Minotaur. This year, Theseus, king 
Aegeus' son, volunteers to be one of the sacrifices. Theseus plans to kill the Minotaur, but he's having trouble finding it within the complex maze where it is imprisoned. Can you help him? Theseus took a path that wound through all nine regions of the maze. Theseus never walked over a space that he had already been on. The maze is a 3x3 three three grid. Um, I'm assuming the circle is the Minotaur. So, how do we do this? So Theseus himself seems a little bit um, open. Like, it looks like he could go anywhere. But the Minotaur mm -hmm. only has one path in. So I'm thinking that might be a decent place to start. I mean, do you think these pieces have to line up perfectly on the left, right hand, and top sides of bottom, I don't you know? know. Like you're saying, um, between the Minotaur so like, right now and the piece immediately above it, there's a dead end below the eye. Is right. that allowed? I would guess it is. I mean, because... should we say it's not? Just to mess around and see what happens? Yeah, I guess we could. I think the only piece that can go there is this one, then. Yeah, I agree. So then we have to go to the right, and is there only one piece that can go over there? I kind of like that, because I just like the shape that this makes. Um, so this means that the bottom right corner is probably somewhat restricted, right? Like, I think this piece has to go down here. If we're assuming that he has to go to the left in the Minotaur, the only piece that can do that is there. This one goes here. So I think Theseus might be down here. And then these two pieces have to go like that, yeah. That was a good assumption, by the way, guessing that there were no, like, random dead ends between the pieces. I wouldn't have thought to try that immediately. Okay, so now I guess we just count the Roman numerals, right? 12 on the first piece, 1 on the second piece, and 2, 25. You're counting what the Roman numerals that he went through in yes. order. Yes. Okay. I and, gotcha. yeah, I'm changing it. Um, I'm basically ending the number every time that I switch over to a new piece. All right, and then we're just converting A equals 1, B equals 2, and so on. <laughs> Labyrinth. That looks promising. Correct. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the meta puzzle already. 41 minutes in. I think we could do this. Meta, the story of Echo. Echo was a mountain nymph who would talk for hours and hours. Hera, queen of the gods, grew angry as at Echo for wasting her time and cursed her so that she could only repeat what was said to her. At a tall cliffside, you speak the words that you've learned from previous puzzles. The wind carries your words to Echo, and she repeats them back to you. However, the wind has shifted some of the letters, so that what Echo says does not exactly match what you've said. Where do we even put our answers? Did, were these symbols on the other puzzles? Yeah, like this first one has a picture of Cupid underneath it, so we probably put a more here. So we've shifted one or more letters. So let's start with roses, because that one looks the easiest. We're only shifting one letter. Body parts people use to appreciate Midas's favorite things in his garden. Noses. So here we shifted R to N, which is a shift of 22. And so I think we need to shift J 22 spaces here. Yeah, Dragon Engineer said, something used to protect from Eros' arrows is armor. So we shifted M to R, which is a shift of 5, right? So we need to shift N to S. So now we need tunes that Pandora sings, which looks like melodies. A goes to O, is a shift of 14. So P goes to D, I think. So Dragon Engineer thinks number 4 is Locksmith. Someone King Midas would need if he lost the key to the maze entrance. That sounds good to me. B goes to C. That one's easy. Thank you for the easy ones. So C just goes to D. And that spells, she faded away. And she faded away is correct. Our final time is 49 minutes and 36 seconds. We did it. So Echo faded away. 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 So Echo faded away.